Hey everyone, my name is Brian. I'm 20 years old. I have severe hemophilia A without inhibitors. I want to talk to you today about how important it is to learn how to do your medicine yourself. I know it might be a little scary, the idea of giving yourself a needle, but trust me, once you learn and do it a few times, you'll start to build that confidence and it's not that scary as it seems. I learned how to do my medicine myself when I was about 10 years old at hemophilia camp. I know you guys didn't get to go this year, um, but that's why I'm here today. I want to help you uh, learn how to do your own medicine, and I want you to see how I get to do it. I've been doing it ever since I was a kid. I used to do uh, an IV in my right arm. Now I'm on a medicine called Heme Libra, which allows me to do it like you get a flu shot once a week, um, and it's pretty painless. Uh, but I have, like I said, I have a video uh, of me talking over how I do my medicine every Saturday morning. Uh, and I hope you guys uh, take something important from it. So uh, thank you and enjoy the video. So I'm going to show you today how I go about my weekly Heme Libra injection. First step first, uh, you want to make sure you have all of your supplies here as I've laid out in front of me. I have my injection stuff my draw needles, and my supplies to clean off my infusion site. Once that's all done, we want to make sure that we have everything ready to go, and we can go ahead and draw up our prescribed amount. Okay, so after, like I said before, you draw up your prescribed amount in here, I've switched my draw needle uh, out for my injector needle. It's a tiny little 27 gauge needle, uh, fairly painless. Um, and now I have all my other stuff that I need to actually do my injection laid out before me. So our next step is going to be cleaning off our infusion site with a simple uh, alcohol swab. So for Hemlibra, they recommend you cycle your infusion site. So this week I'll be doing it in the top of my left thigh. So here's our alcohol swab. And you just make sure you cover all the surface of the leg just to make sure it's all nice and clean. And then you can wait a few min a minute or so just to let the, al as, uh, the extra alcohol dry off so it doesn't burn when you do your injection. So, we're ready to do the injection. I have my needle here ready to go. Because this is a sub-Q injection, it's a little bit different than somebody with an IV. So what I have to do is I grab a tiny piece of my skin, make sure I have a nice little thing that I can pinch onto, then I take a deep breath in and let it out. Push it in a little bit, make sure it's not burning. And then I go ahead and push nice and slow. You don't have to go at a snail's pace, but make sure you keep a consistent pushing force when you're doing your infusion. So now that I've finished my pushing my medicine and my infusion, uh, what we're going to do now is we have our gauze pad in hand on the count of three. We're going to pull this out. One, two, three, clean out. And now we put the needle enclosure up around the needle to keep our fingers safe and the needle protected. So I don't hold pressure for long, just a little while to make sure there's no extra blood or anything like that. And then I'll put my Band-Aid on in a minute and we will all be done. Okay, and there's the Band-Aid over my infusion site. That was pretty easy. So uh, just remember to keep a calm head, everything nice and organized, take it nice and slow, and you'll be just fine. 